Yeah. And this is, again, Grand Finals, Fei Long, Mago, Yun, Daigo. Mago's coming from loser, so he'll have to win two sets of three out of five. Daigo only needs the one. And it's a very patient play to start off here. Daigo, of course, understands the reactions that Mago has oh, yeah. that we saw him employ against Shen Chang. Uh -huh. In terms of anti-airs of the dive kick and of neutral jumps, definitely saw Mago take advantage of all that stuff. Daigo been much more grounded. Oh, and there's the cross-up short dive kick. We've seen Dun Yun's hitting that all weekend. Incredibly hard to defend against, and it generally will result in a trade. You know, if a character like Fei Long even goes for a dragon punch. This is so interesting to see the different style of play between uh, Yun's, Daigo, and Shen Chang. Yeah. Much more defensive and patient play here from Daigo. Looks like Daigo is just very respectful of his opponent at this point. I think you're right. Oh, oh messed it up. And no quick stand there by Daigo. Could have really taken advantage of that. But he didn't. Even at this point, uh, in the last matchup, Mago, he had Shen cornered and he made him pay. But Daigo with his back to the wall is able to fight it out. Oh, that's right. He's actually pushed himself out of the corner. First person we've seen do that. Oh, but now he's right back in. And that's it. So still, Mago, when he got to the corner, that was it. At that point, at the last turn, Mago had already represented those Ume Shou, used those guest dragon punches. Yeah. So that opened him up, that opened Daigo up to a bit of a block, and he was able to land a grab there to take the round. But here comes Daigo with a Ganejin. And he's hitting the whole thing. He's been doing so consistently into mix-up. Oh, not into mix-up, just into contain of the corner. Now Mago with his back to the wall, but those records are great, great positioning as well as Put C's and poking tool. Look at that. And Daigo is testing the option select as well. And he's walked his way all the way out of the corner with a few records in there for good measure. Ooh. Oh, nice! With the cancel into the EX grab for some extra range. Now Mago caught in the corner. Oh, but a punish. Wow, great spacing on that dive kick. Yeah, that was perfectly at his toes. And he delayed it so long that, Di that Mago wasn't able to react. Right. And you see Daigo occasionally throwing out that jump medium kick almost like a fake dive kick uh -huh. try to convince Mako to do something exactly exactly dancing around at neutral range throwing out the neutral I mean, I mean at mid-range throwing out that neutral jump just gives Mago pause makes him look for a dive kick perhaps he'll walk in and put himself in the wrong range and then Daigo can take advantage and snap a dive kick out there quickly seeing it happen there it is and now Daigo is he gonna put pressure on no he's not he put pressure on First knockdown in the first round, but since then he's been very respectful. Nice reaction from Daigo, even though I think that move is safe. I'm not sure if it's safe from that that close. I know it's safe from some ranges. Did he do a regular lunge punch or was that an EX? That was regular. Okay. I don't know why he didn't just do an EX then. <laughs> anyway. Nice stand roundhouse there to put him right back out of his face. Oh, great high block. Okay. There's the EX. Oh, look at that. That's why he's been jumping out fierce. And Daigo's in a great position now. There it is. Overhead takes the first game. Slight, slight pause after that dive kick. Quite strong. Try to bait out the DP. Daigo had been favoring command grab in that situation before, but he adjusted that time and stayed safe. With slightly, uh, slightly less risk with just the low shorts. Mm. All right, gets the links. And, okay, it's putting on a little bit of pressure this time. Oh, more now for sure. He's blowing up crouch techs with dive kicks right now. And Mago is just falling prey to them. So back dash did work there because Mago went for throw instead of for the low short option select. Lunge. Oh, There's wow. There's the reaction. Okay. Dive kick was a little bit too shallow to combo. Oh, jump fierce this time. First time we've seen him go to that normal. And low jab takes the round. Gotta say, this is a very different style of play than we saw with Shin's Yun. Almost like you can see, these two players are much more practiced, not just with each other, but with the game itself. Very impressive level of play right now. And very patient play as well. It's not the kind of rush style that uh, Shen was going for in some situations. It's much more patient. Mago getting the punish. Oh, into the corner now. 
And Daigo caught here. Oh, option select! Roundhouse chicken wing. That is some hot stuff. And just goes for Chip. Mago Chips evens it up. Take a round. Take a game. One game to one. Daigo needs to win three. Mago needs to win three before Daigo needs to win. Before Daigo wins three to reset. Three out of five. Oh, look at the way he approaches. Walk up block, walk up block. They both know that they have, uh, you know, from some fairly safe mid-screen range pressure moves. Rekka, dive kick. Ooh, whiff. Nice little stutter there. Finds an opening. Successfully links into the Rekka. Good stuff from Mago. Clean execution. Oh, I love the range on that stand medium kick yeah. there and uses it so well. Yeah, Daigo slowing it down a little bit, playing a footsie game just to, just for a second. Oh, tried yeah. for the dive kick. Yeah. No. There's what he was looking for. Full links. And there's the cross up short that he was following up with before. Lots of shorts, both players trying to convince the other to let go of the stick and try to either jump or to input Dragon Punch. Oh, and he dashes underneath the roundhouse chicken. Mago can't take another chip. And Daigo looking like, oh, and he does go for the chip. It looked like he might have been going for it, but when was hard to know. Had he X shoulders so fast. Really low dive kick, hard to react to at that range. Yeah, he's been getting many more dive kicks. Look, he's recognizing that Mongo's not anti-airing as often as he did at the start. And Daigo, many more dive kicks. Way yeah. to take advantage of his opponent here. Mongo's not really guarding the dive kick range. Instead, he's trying to get aggressive, trying to get in there and close the gap. And Daigo's oh, just taking advantage really? of it. Really? Corner pressure with Ganagin here. Wow, that combo's in Ganagin? Awesome. I did not know that. Finally finds an uppercut. Ooh, Daigo blocking an expedition to that meaty dragon punch that he, Mago has been going to in occasion. Oh, big whiff. That's going to be the game. Daigo, uh, he's respecting those safe jumps from Feilong. All day earlier, we saw him recognizing that those safe that jumps were not clean, waking up with uh, light kick up kicks or EX up kicks all day. Here he's blocking on wake up, playing a much more reserved game. Oh, he's getting a full 7-hit combo very consistently. Great hit confirms. And there's a, some reactions, so Mago needs to try to use that, not just for the damage and positioning it has now, but also for the future to convince Daigo, hey, leave me alone a little bit, respect me, yeah. give me some space. Not happening. Oh, very late. Mago missing the links. That's a big drop there. And there you go. Daigo is now on match point. Controlling the screen so well. Daigo on match point here. AE tournament out here at Revelations between Mago and Daigo. 10,000 on the line. Yeah, and such incredible placement on those dive kicks. Gonna fly his way into $10,000 at a downward angle. Oh, a big whip. He thought there was going to be a dive kick there. Mago looking like he's just cracking under the pressure Not one round good. away from losing it. Not looking good. And he's letting everything There it is. And, now and this could be it. it. No, he drops the Ganagin combo. Oh, oh, and a big ultra. Crowd is erupting. Dago's laughing. Oh. Wow. Tried to keep the pressure going. Daigo still at the ready. <laughs> he still has the life lead, too. Even after eating all that damage, he's like, I'm not going to wake up and blast Dash up! And Daigo takes it. Staying aware. Never fell prey. 2011 Revelations champion of Super Street Fighter 4 Arcade Edition is Daigo Umehara. What a historic day in Street Fighter. We have commanded both coasts. We're not going to spoil for you who won CEO.